Howdy there folks, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and today, oh boy, do I have a story to tell. Uh, leave a like, come on, Black Lives Matter. Now, this story takes place at my workplace, right? This shit gets pretty fucked. I work at a store that sells, you know, clothes, sneakers, and it's a retail store, basically. And, like, in the area, there's, like, sort of a marshland behind the store. And what I think the issue I'm going to talk about stems from is there's a pretty big store right next to us that's been closed down for about two to three years or so. And they're doing construction on it to reopen another store. The problem... Now, the problem is mice. <laughs> like, where the fuck do I even begin, right? It all started when one little mouse started getting a little too friendly. One of my coworkers, the assistant manager, she noticed that someone, like, ate her crackers or some shit that she left out, right? And she was telling me, like, oh, yeah, well, the way it was bit was kind of weird, so I, I didn't think it was a person, but, you know. Anyway, it all made sense when a different coworker, like, uh, one of the managers, she screamed in the back one day. So I, I ran to the back, because I'm like, yo, what the fuck, why'd she yell? Like, she's about to die or some shit. And she's going on, like, oh, I'm, I was just standing here on my phone, and, like, right next to the microwave, fucking mouse pops its head out. So I'm like, damn, what the fuck? So we're like, fuck, this is pretty bad. So one day, you know, my boss is in the back, and he yells from the top of his lungs, and I go in the back, and he's like, yeah, I saw, I just saw a mice, like, what the fuck? And one day, I'm in the back room grabbing a shoe for somebody, right? And I see this brown little shit running up the wall, and it starts hitting the dip dip potato chip. So I'm just sitting there like, fuck, this shit's real, you know? Like, we actually have fucking mice. It all ended one day when my boss opens the door to the office, and I just hear him yell like a bitch, like, no cap. He's, he's like, ah, right in front of our eyes! So I go in there thinking a rat ran past them or some shit, and this is what I see. Yeah, that picture right there. So this thing's just chilling there. And my boss thinks it's dying, so his ass is like, Yeah, Jared, you wanna try getting him out of here with me? I'll hold the bag, you put him in. So I'm just like, sure, fuck it. We go get some gloves, we go back, and the little guy's just laying there with his eyes shut, slumped over. And I'm looking at it, I'm just thinking like, Damn, this shit looks like it's breathing. And at this point, I'm just like, alright, let's find out. So... You know, I touch on its back with my index finger, and this shit flops right the fuck off and falls to the floor. This little nigga was just sleeping up there, like, it was probably warm as fuck. And I was shaking the thing earlier, too, and it didn't even react. So, now I thought the mouse was really cute, and I felt bad doing anything to it, but, you know, I had no other choice. You wanted this thing out of the store, so the mouse is on the floor at this point, it's moving really slow, like, trying to get away, but there wasn't really anywhere for it to go. Now, it was either injured from the fall, or it was just an idiot, because it was a baby. And I, I can't really decide on either, because it was also, you know, kind of a noob. Like, what what smart mouse would just, you know, go, go up and sleep on our human technology? You know, like, we're gonna see you. And he didn't wake up when we we're all just like, yo, there's a mouse right here, shaking the thing, like, yo. But whatever. At this point, my boss is trying to get it out, and this dude is... He opens the door, and he's, like, shaking a bag of chips, like, <laughs> trying to get it out like his dog or some shit. And then he's just like, oh, just pick it up and bring it outside. Like, of course he's fine with that solution when he's not the one doing it, you know? But you know me, I'm just like, fuck it. I pick this shit up by its tail, and he's like, yeah, good job, Jerry. And he opens the door, and he's like, we're going up the back. He's like, throw it out in the marsh. And I'm just about to let it run off, but he insists that I throw it deep, so I just fucking yeet that shit, and the mouse goes flying like it's a movie. And it was kind of funny, but I still felt really bad. Honestly, I did. Now, this isn't even fucking close to the end of the story. We start seeing another mouse, and my boss is like, okay, we're fucked. And he starts buying mouse traps and shit, and he brings them in one day, and of course, he's like, yeah, Jerry, help me set these up. So we go, we get the whole fucking back of the store rigged with these, completely fucked, by the way. Like, they're glue and snap traps. Like, it's pretty immoral. That's just my opinion. He, got, he used the assistant manager's granola as bait, and I think she was kind of salty about it, but... <laughs> Well, what the fuck do you know? One day I come in and I'm folding a shirt at some random table. And my boss awkwardly comes near me and starts folding a different random shirt. 
and start saying some random bullshit, literally. Okay, I, I might have spaced out. But then he's like, you know what I'm talking about, right? And that was just enough. So I was like, yeah, I know what you're talking about. And I follow him to the back, and he walks me over to a glue trap with the little mouse just sitting on it like he gave up all hope, you know? And I feel bad. But we're just like, fuck, well, one, we got to deal with this. <laughs> and two, this means there's more of these guys. And of course, he has me help him. So we go get some damn gloves, and his idea is just to put it in a bag and throw it out. Now, as he's telling me this, I'm just thinking about it, and I'm like, wow, this mouse is just going to be stuck to that shit in a bag, tied up and thrown away. Like, he's going to be confined to that one single spot, and he's going to suffocate or just starve to death. Like, wow, it's pretty fucked up when you think about it, but what could I really do? Now, as you might have guessed, this story does not end at 2. There was another morning where the assistant manager was opening up the store and it was cold and she really had to use the bathroom. So she goes to the toilet and looks down and there's just a dead mouse chilling in the toilet. You know, of course she made sure it was dead. She got rid of it and cleaned the bathroom. But there was another time when I'm working with this other female manager and I'm grabbing a shoe for some dude in the back room and out the corner of my eye, I see some brown thing wiggling in the corner. And what do you know? There's a mouse stuck in a glue trap. Now, I tell this to the manager, and surprisingly, she felt really bad for the mouse, and she wanted to try to get it out. Now, it wasn't pretty. There was a few squeaks, and we thought we were going to rip off its face at one point. But we managed to release this thing from the glue trap somehow. So, I go outside to, you know, the fence with the marsh, and I just let this thing run off. I wasn't going to eat this thing. Like, it was on its last leg. My guess is it either found a little spot and just, just ended, you know, just... KO'd and died, or, you know, a bird got to it or some shit, you know, nature led its course. Now, what would be really fucked is if it, like, immediately ran back into the store and he's just been high in there ever since, you know, that'd be some fucked up shit. But, there's still more. On one occasion, we actually caught one in one of the snap traps, and this one was fucking thick. It was, it was pretty, pretty sizable, compared to the other ones, which are really tiny, but yeah, its neck was snapped. And at least in this case, it was already dead when we had to dispose of it. So, you know, it wasn't as bad. And I'm, prob I'm probably missing a few stories here. But there was like seven, seven total mice. And that is kind of ridiculous. But it's been a while now and I haven't seen any more. So I think we're in the clear here. But yeah that's about it y'all fucked up place i work at is a shithole low-key but thanks for watching you know share this with your mom subscribe peace out